Hello, I'm Joel Barthelemy. Welcome to this edition of Connected Health. What you see behind me is a container railroad car. Neither you nor I can see what's inside, but if you were the railroad or the owner of the products inside, you would have that information and more. So you would know what was being shipped and when it would arrive at its destination. In medicine, we make a distinction between invisible light medical images, like x-rays and CT scans, and those we can take with a digital camera. We give file names to the photos we take with our cameras when we save them to our computer's hard drive. That helps us find a picture of our loved ones. A file name is good enough for our personal photos, not, however, for medicine. Not if we're going to save important medical images of a patient and make sure they go into the correct electronic medical record. Too many people have the same name and it's too easy to duplicate a file name. I, I do it all the time. Back in the 1980s, the DICOM standard was developed to handle, store, and transmit information primarily of radiologic images. DICOM stands for the Digital Imaging and Communications in Medicine. In this format, additional patient information we call metadata is wrapped around an image. We can attach disseminating data like a patient's name, social security number, insurance number, blood type, and age to an image. Having these identifiers helps a physician call up the right images when he or she examines a patient's medical record. Taking pictures of a patient is a very good idea. But you can understand that an image in DICOM format is even a better idea, especially when a doctor has a practice with thousands of patients. Images saved to an electronic medical record should be in DICOM format because we may need to access the relevant information inside the boxcar. Here's why. The DICOM headers allow clinicians to search for similar cases that may help them form a diagnosis and a successful treatment plan. Let's say the doctor would like to query his EMR for images of all 53-year-old males who have a very specific dermatologic problem. Of course, the results do not reveal the identifiers of the patients, it just provides the details of their cases. This is how a lot of medical research is done to benefit the entire medical community. And data that isn't in DICOM format and is strictly for one person is in fact a dumb data. Have you seen my earlier blog, episode number two, in which I pointed out the disconnect that often occurs between urgent care centers and pediatricians? When parents decide urgent care is more convenient or their children have a medical issue after the pediatrician's hours, the primary care physician may not be in the loop. Unless the urgent care is connected to the larger healthcare institution, the pediatrician may receive only a summary report of that visit, if they receive anything at all. This can be easily corrected by utilizing a system that doesn't impede workflow but sends the image with the important data automatically to the other institution. We've given a lot of thought to this issue because medical images may be of importance to other patients who share the same characteristics and symptoms. So the images that Global Med's capture software acquires can be saved in the DICOM format. All of that important information goes with them into the electronic medical record. Our Capture Cloud application is specifically designed to save images in a secure PAX environment. Once an image is in the medical record, a doctor can use one or all of the DICOM fields to locate it. It is important that this data can be mined to help doctors 
determine the best treatment for patients of the same age, maybe even the same blood type, to develop the most successful treatment plan for what ails them. Before digital, printed photos and files in a doctor's practice over time might fill up one of these boxcars. Today, images can be preserved in DICOM format, stored securely on a cloud server, and be accessible when needed 24-7. Think about it. Some 400 million procedures a year in the United States alone now involve at least one radiologic image. But there are millions more of the skin, the eyes, and the throat that need to be in the patient's medical record too. The DICOM standard gives healthcare providers the ability to handle and maintain all the data in a useful and meaningful way. It's not this care model or that care system. And it's not telemedicine, telehealth, mHealth, eHealth, virtual health or iHealth that will save our healthcare system and others around the world. It's connected health that is going to provide us all with access to the right care at the right time anywhere. Connected health, it's our future. I'm Joel Bartholomew, and thank you. I encourage you to tell me what you think. Tell me your ideas. Send me an email. You'll find the address on the bottom of this page. Thank you.